Hey guys, welcome back. So we're getting busy on the Cougar. Um, we've got the big 20 inch wheels in it. I think there's 315, 30, uh, 20s. They're big wheels, uh, a heck of a lot bigger than the 15s that were on them. Um, so yeah, we've got it kind of down somewhere closer to the ride height that we're gonna want it at the end of the day. Um, but the wheel arch is really, you know, coming down over the wheel, which just not a fan of. Uh, it just, it, the wheel and the wheel arch don't match. Uh, so what we're gonna do is take, basically lift, cut this off, the outer fender, and lift it up so that we end up with a consistent kind of radius around here. So this wheel arch is gonna come up probably about two and a half inches, slide the whole thing up, and then then that shape will match the actual tire. So uh, I'm gonna start measuring, start cutting, and uh, we'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, as you can see, I've got it marked out where I wanna make my cut. We're retaining, you know, we've gone right down to the very bottom here. Uh, all this will move up and overlap onto the quarter. And then we'll trim it and get it butt for the, you know, like butt, so we can butt weld it all together and then we'll just have to fill in the section here where we raise it. That way we can play with the wheel arch too and actually decide just how far we want to move it up. We're thinking two and a half, but you know, that, that can change. Two and a half might look way too much or it may not be enough. So yeah, just get your uh, handy cut off wheel. Start cutting. It's always a bit tough. You know, hold your breath a little bit when you start cutting into a nice quarter, but it's got to be done. Obviously we went round and picked up, you know, drilled all the spot welds out. And theory being, we're going to move that up to about there. And um, see how it looks with the wheel in there. But we're going to need to cut some of this inner fender out first. But that kind of gives you uh, an idea of what we're shooting for. Yeah, and this way, once it's all butt welded in and smooth, uh, it's not going to look different to really any other Cougar unless you've got one parked beside it. Uh, so the idea is for it to have a factory look, um, but be anything but factory. So uh, I think that's going to it's gonna roll in there quite nicely, I'm feeling. So yeah. All right, we'll get some of this inner structure out of the way and come back okay so we've got the inner uh, wheelhouse trimmed away and this just taped on there with a bit of good old race tape i don't know about you guys i think that looks pretty good yeah it's uh it's about as close here as i think we can get it's a similar kind of clearance like that line to that line it is on the front fender um, i think if we go any higher if we went higher we could get the car lower but if we go higher this gap here is going to be so small it's going to want to look like the back end's ready to break off. Uh, so I think that gap there is good. You know, we can come down a little lower on that and get the tire, you know, the arch down another inch maybe. Uh, but that just fits the wheel better now. Uh, and it just looks like when they built the car, designed the car, that they designed it for 20 inch wheels. And that's, that's the look we're going for. So uh, I'm going to call that a win. And we've got a bit of work, a little bit of trimming and filing and grinding and welding and bunch of stuff to do so uh, we'll just keep at it and keep watching we'll be back in a second so been hammering on it a little bit then cutting a little bit what we what I've done is rolled this edge out like this to um, just 
help everything fit together. Let's see with uh, we got the, the flare on here now. It, this is this is nice and vertical. This face here now that we've pulled it out um, before it was up and sloping in. Now it's now it's fitting in there nice. We've been re I've been working on shaping this so it's all close to the bodywork now, and that's getting pretty close. That's about that's about where it's going to end up, pretty much. So that's good. Obviously, we're going to need to do some fabricating to fill in these gaps here where we've gone up. Uh, and one of the next things we've got to get to is this in a fender. But just quickly, wanted to show you. Just we cut the other side off this morning. Uh, that's the fender from fender flare from the left hand side and that gives you a little bit of an idea just how much we've changed the shape of that um, you can see it's a lot wider through here now we've rolled that edge down and that's that's brought the fender flare out the wheel arch out but yeah a lot of shaping in there uh, to get to that to this point where it fits nice so what we got to do is we're going to get the BFH in here and we've got to get this, I'm trying to get this up to here. Now it's not going to go there all the way around. Some of it's going to have to have some pieces added in. Uh, but if I can work this up to where we're touching here, for the majority of it, we can just weld that together and it's good to go. But we're going to definitely have to add some metal in. Somewhere around here, I'm just trying to bring that back to a sort of uh, a manageable level, you know, a little bit less work to do it that way. Uh, so yeah, it's really just, you've got to get a bit brutal because this stuff doesn't want, not want to give. Uh, and that really is roughing it in. You just got to keep doing that. Keep, you know, just keep chasing it up there. It'll only stretch so far, and at some point it will will tear. So um, back here, <laughs> it will tear at some point, and you know that when it starts to tear, that's when you've kind of got to go. That's that's all we got. That's all she's going to do. So yeah, I'm going to keep beating on it, and um, as I say you've got to be a bit brutal. It does take a little bit of stretching, and uh, that's that's my number two hammer. That's not my biggest BFH. So we might bring in the Mac Daddy before long, but we'll see how I go with this. Uh, and then, yeah, keep on welding, but that's uh, that's kind of where we're at on this rear flare. I think it's going to be uh, really nice when it's all done. But I'm going to keep it this. You guys have a uh, good weekend, good day, good evening, wherever you're watching us. And uh, we'll be back with more, that is for sure. So take care. See you guys.